Hello and welcome to the show. Hey, good to see you. This is where we round up some stuff and share a laugh. First up, hell is gonna be cool. Hopa Villa has finally reopened after 9 months of upgrading. With the newly air-conditioned 10 Courts of Hell to be opened only in October as part of a new attraction called Hell's Museum. I guess it's quite fitting that in order to make Hell cooler, you have to add to global warming. Come to think of it, why aren't there more heaven and hell themed attractions in the world? Are they afraid of someone actually dying there? Speaking of the afterlife, do you believe in reincarnation? How about a second chance at life? Because that's just what this green broad bill in Pulau Ubin got. But as it turns out, just like this full article, the bird was actually hidden behind another paywall by the Straits Times. This actually got me a little bit curious. Who actually decides or declares the extinction of a species? Are we supposed to just take someone else's word for it? How much responsibility should he or she hold? Are you curious? Yeah? Well, hashtag me too! Next up, post-vaccination physical activities do's and don'ts. Apparently, despite Singapore's world-class education system, we are still a dangerous combination of risk-taking and stupid enough to need a list to decide what's strenuous for us. You know what? While we're at it, let me help you guys out by adding couples yoga and the assisted adductor stretch to this list, yeah? UK's final lockdown easing, with legal restrictions due to be lifted on July 19. Just to be clear, for now, we still have to wear masks if we are in the UK. Unless you're watching football. While football may be coming home, some people should really be staying home. China's President Xi Jinping takes a dig at the US. Looking at the world from a my country first angle, he said that the world is narrow and crowded and often full of competition. Mr. President sir, with all due respect, regardless of angles, that is exactly what everyone else feels when we see Chinese tourists. Now, it is not surprising to see that he is against the idea of my country first, because we know he is more of a my country, not yours kind of guy. Okay, it's time to wind down with some headlines. In Singapore, larger groups of five will be allowed to dine in together from July 12. Previously, you had to be below 60 kilograms. Mistakes that cause hair loss. Let me help you guys out by adding one more thing to the list. Too much solo yoga. And hey, check it out. Reading time of nine minutes, I can do yoga for three and a half times. Now who's a downward dog? Who's a downward dog? I'm a downward dog. DBS to turn Newton office building into net zero development. Well, I can't imagine this going down well with HR, but to everyone else, uh, live more, bank less. Next. Trump country rejects vaccines despite growing Delta threat. Perhaps because the only shots they recognize are ones from a gun. Finally, Vatican judge indicts 10, including Cardinal, for alleged financial crimes. This gives a rare insight into how Cardinals are nominated. Hey, it's me, the Pope. Do you want to handle the money or the little boys? Alright, before we go, what are you looking forward to in the coming week? For me, Loki Episode 6, also the series finale. Super excited to see what happens next. Also, being a Singaporean in Singapore, I am happy and looking forward to the gradual lifting of restrictions here, starting with the dining-in capacities from July 12th. And last but not least, I've got two groups of friends, so two separate couples, getting married on the same day next Saturday, 17th of July. Apparently, it's auspicious, but uh, either way, I'm looking forward to it and I'm very excited for them. All Alright, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, share, subscribe, do whatever you want to do. And until next time, stay delightfully weird.